today from Brooklyn, New York. It's the AFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. We'll see Tyler Huntley and the Brooklyn Bulls taking on Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Straight ahead, we punch the second of two tickets to the AFC title game, and we've got a great one in store between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Brooklyn Bulls. championship game off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs and here comes a return from just beyond the goal line and beyond the 20 but not by much in fact just a yard pass there to the 21 the KC offense set to go led as always by the gunslinger a former MVP in this league it's Patrick Mahomes and if he and his guys want to spring the upset here in the second round and move on They've got to focus on the good that they did in the wild card victory. At the top of that list, protecting the football. Got a little careless last week. A few got away from him. Might not be so fortunate this time around. And if that's the case, they'll end up going home. They go play action. Now Mahomes. Under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, partner, a couple points of interest right here, all right? Offensively, we see that they came out throwing the football, but maybe more importantly, the blitz that came defensively, they got right after them. And you were telling me pregame before we came on air, you think this is something we could see a lot. Yeah, there's no doubt about it because this is a unit that wants to play the game on their terms. First carry of the game for Hassan Haskins. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. They lose two on that last play, so things get even tougher. Third and long coming up. Apparently this defense has come to play. A sack and a run stuff behind the line on the first two plays. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. But man, his first throw, that nearly went the other way instead. It's fourth down. The punt team on now as Pinion sends this one away. This is brought in at the 21. Good blocking there. Nearly sprung him as it is. It'll go as a 19-yard return. And they will take over first and 10. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. They'll be led out by their quarterback, standing 6-1 from Utah. It's Tyler Huntley. And he and his team, they were the beneficiaries of a first-round bye earned by a tremendous regular season. He'd been a little bit nicked up, so he could use the rest. And I'm sure his teammates felt the exact same way. But now it'll be interesting to watch their first few drives in this one. Because sometimes getting the rest is great, but sometimes you accumulate a little bit of rust as well. Maybe they come out flat, and they can't afford that in the postseason. But he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Give him 30 yards there. They started this drive with terrific field position, and it's going to get even better after that play. Had great options with where they started, so they decided to press their advantage, and it paid off. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Here's Huntley. Looking left side, he's got it complete. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. And perhaps now close to the first points of this divisional round game as it's first and goal. And he'll 
take it into the end zone for a touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bulls are on the board first here in this division round matchup. Well, we knew they had the crowd on their side. Their defense has already made a stop, and now here's an opening drive touchdown. Yeah, how about the defense making the stop, offense feeling their momentum that they've generated, and turning it into points on their side. So now you've got a team working together, and they've got the crowd involved fully on their side in this ballgame. And in this playoff atmosphere, that 12th man means even more. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7-0. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And a three and out on that first drive. We'll see if they can do better here. They should have a better opportunity because the nerves should be settled now. That first series, everybody goes out of a little extra emotion. So now they get a And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Kadarius Toney, 75 yards. And the Chiefs are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Extra point by Butker is on target. And we are tied at seven. One of the shortest drives you'll ever see. One play, 75 yards, six points. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially. So a net gain of one there. Huntley to throw. A leap, and he's got it. He got it. And he's going to be taken down at about the 33. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. To throw Huntley. Under pressure, and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. Frank Clark. Credit him with a sack, and it goes as a loss of six. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they will rally and stop him short of the first down. They get him to the ground at the 26. And his kick is right there. It's good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal, you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure, unbridled joy after that one. On second down, here's a run from Haskins. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. On third and long, it's Mahomes. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Mahomes on the give to Edwards Alaire. And space tough to come by there as he'll get maybe a yard to the 37. Not the kind of game that will go absolutely crazy for him, but it's the kind of game that you need to have when you're running back in the NFL and Clyde Edwards-Alaire with that low center of gravity and strength. 
He's going to get those tough, gritty yards for you when necessary. On second and nine, Mahomes to the right side. It's Kelsey. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Mahomes on third. Now a swing pass. It's Edwards Alaire. And he'll only get this to about the 44 as they stop him short of the line to gain. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. And he gets this away. And look at this. This is a good one. And that is much too long. That's into the end zone for a touchback. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. On third down, Huntley. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. Ten seven, our score after one, right here on EA Sports. The Chiefs' offense about set to begin this drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Well, Mahomes can't get away, and down he goes. They push him back eight yards that time on second down. Well, they sit him on the blitz from that linebacker spot, and boy, he got there quickly. He certainly did, and obviously he could have used a block from his running back, but I think you nailed it right there. The defender got into the backfield so fast, it's hard for anyone to react. After the sack, things get a little tougher here. Third and long for Mahomes and the Chiefs. They'll set up a throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. So on now is the Clemson man, Bradley Pinion, to punt this one away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. 51 yards on the punt there. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalpost, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. And after that type of a run, there's some talking going on down on the field, but it's not trash talking. The guy who just carried the ball, he's going back and telling his offensive line, great job, keep it up, and we'll break that one soon. Now a good job shifting right, finding his target. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. A very solid gain of 27. And time to give some credit to the big fellows, the offensive line here, because you've got to have good protection on crossing routes because you've got to give your receiver time to work all the way across the field. That time, able to scan the field, spot his receiver moving left to right, and make a good, accurate throw. Thank you, guys. They go play action here on first down. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35.
One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs 32. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he's going to get the first down as they bring him down at the 23. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. On first down, Huntley. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. On second down, they'll run it here. Five yards, now it's third and five. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And that'll move them a little closer as he takes it from the 7 down to the 4-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. He'll try again. And he is into the end zone for a touchdown. A great play there with his second touchdown here in this first half as his guys are able to extend their lead. Well, fair to say they've got something here in this rookie running back, and he's in for the second time in the ball game. And Brandon, it's a position where there's often a lot of turnover, a lot of competition at that spot. But he's proven to them that he wants to be the bell cow guy that his franchise can rely on. Point after try, forthcoming. It's good to make it 17-7. That one in the books as a 12-play drive, and it results in a four-yard touchdown run. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Now the Chiefs offense, they get ready to head on the field. They trail by 10, 17-7 as they come up on a first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. He'll find Smith-Schuster. That's complete. And he's taken down but able to slip across the 35. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll run. It's Edwards-Alaire. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Now Mahomes setting up the screen for Haskins. And getting this just shy of midfield. They'll spot it at the 49. Second quarter action with 1.59 remaining. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful divisional round weekend. Meanwhile, Mahomes' throw here complete to Kelsey. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work this to the 45. From the 45 on second down, Mahomes. And he's going to be marked down just inside the 35. Mahomes now on first down. It's Kelsey on the ground. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Mahomes to throw once more. Check down, complete to Haskins. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. First and 10 here. And you know, if they could just get three out of this, something about whittling it to a one-score game at half that might provide a psychological boost. And he's going to go down. They sack him back right around the 30. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. Another try after the first down sack. Mahomes. That'll be caught. It's Tony. 
And he's brought down after a very nice gain. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. They'll run with Edwards Alaire. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Clyde Edwards Alaire. A touchdown run there from a yard out. And the Chiefs get a late score here, the final minute of the first half. So the toss play effective, even down here near the goal line. Yeah, and you're hoping the defense commits too many men to stop the run in the middle of the field and that your blockers can gain a little bit of an advantage. And when they do, foot race to the pylon. And this time, he had the speed to win that race. Butker now to add the extra point. And this is up and good to make it a 17-14 game. A 10-play drive that time. And it's capped off by a touchdown run from Clyde Edwards-Alaire. This taken in at the goal line. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they may just be content to take this three-point lead and head into the locker room. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. To throw on second down, Huntley flushed out right. All that gets him is just a yard, and now it's third down. I'm not quite sure what he thought he saw there, but the reality was certainly a much different picture than what he anticipated. And give credit to the defense. They were down on the flash when he broke out of there, and they forced him out with almost nothing to show for his efforts. Throwing left side here, and it's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So just three yards on the completion there. And it'll be fourth down. Here's Ryan Stonehouse now as he'll kick it away for the second time. And this is away. It's a high kick, and he got all of it. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball, just go ahead and finish up the half and get on out and talk about it. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. This fourth and final matchup on this divisional round weekend. We'll get back to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look back to Saturday's AFC Divisional Round game. And you can see the result there. Meanwhile, in our game, we've got one half remaining to find out who goes on to the AFC title game. And to bring it all to you, let's send it back out to Brandon Godden. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Winner go home. That's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And this offense set to go now to begin the third quarter. And they're in the position they expected to be in. They've got the lead, home crowd behind them, and they're looking toward making that next step in these playoffs. And I think a key for them is to put together some good, long, extended drives. Work the run in a little more with that big offensive line. I'm not saying get away from throwing the football. That's still working. But they run it more effectively. They may get even bigger plays in the passing game. 
That's good for 28 yards. As they began this drive, I was wondering how they were going to attack since they're playing with the lead. Would they continue to try and push the ball downfield? Well, after one play, it appears that the answer is yes. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up a third down. Operating from the gun. Huntley as a comma. He's got it on the slant. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 29-yard line. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. This will be a short gain of three before he's brought down at the 22. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Up the middle they go. It's Knight, and he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. He'll buy some time right. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down at the two-yard line. Now a play fake here on first down. A uh, quick throw knocked away and incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Under pressure now, and he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. That time, multiple defenders getting pressure, and it's a loss of six. A big one coming in this divisional round playoff, third and goal. Back to throw, Huntley. And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. And his kick is good. And they stretch the lead to six. It's 20 to 14 now. Well, looking at it from a defensive perspective, that keeps the deficit very, very manageable. You know, all things considered, not a bad job on the defensive side. And I would say that you've pointed out something pretty good right there, and that is you actually have both sides happy with that exchange. You know, happy in quotes, of course. One team, hey, we've kept kept it within range. The other side saying, hey, we put points on the board and did stretch out the lead. Let's see how this one turns out. Yeah, still bottom line, though, three points for the opening drive of the third quarter. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Pass on the out route caught by Smith-Schuster. Finding space at the 40. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. It's another first down on what will be a gain of 21 yards. Haskins now on first and 10. Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. They've created a nice sustained drive off of plays like that. A nice strong run there that keeps them advancing the ball. Edwards Alaire as they run out of the gun. And he's dropped just before the line to gain. Four yard pickup leaves him with third and one. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Mahomes to throw on third and one. Caught, Kelsey, left side. And the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. Go, go, go. 
They'll run here with Edwards Hilaire. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. Quick hitter here, it's complete. So back-to-back -back plays each get nothing. And that will lead to a third and goal. Such a tough position to defend near the line, even when you add a second defender. But the big man shrugged off the extra body and made the play call a success. Here's Mahomes, third and goal. This is caught. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll wind up being knocked back to the three-yard line. They tried to let the fullback pound it in between the tackles, but he stopped up short. And the ball will go over on the goal line stand. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And this has been a tight game to this point. Of course, they usually are at this juncture of the playoffs. But with the lead and the football, the clock right now, their friend, as they try to book their spot in the conference championship next Sunday. From deep in their own territory, they look to throw. Pass complete as a comma with it. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 20. Now a first carry for their fullback. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. Fourth quarter, holding on to a lead. Fullback carry, three or four yards. I guess that's what you're looking for. And it just brings back memories for me because I remember my coaches in this situation. I remember one time my head coach into his headset telling the offensive coordinator, I want the big boy carrying the ball. And that's what you have in this spot. Him covering up on the ball, taking care of it, and grinding out yardage. Throwing on first down, Huntley. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. This duo locked in, 14 yards there, and a first down. Off play action, Huntley. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he's got this down to the 35. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Looking to throw. Huntley eluding the pressure right. Oh, no, he lost the football. And I think the Chiefs have it. They do. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we can make a play, we give our pressure, gets to him, and down he goes. Back at the four-yard line. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Now a carry for Edwards Alaire. And he'll take this forward only up to about the seven. Call it a three-yard gain, but they'll be forced into a third and 15 coming up. Mahomes now to throw. Justin Matabike working his way to the quarterback that time. This defense, they just continue to feast. Five sacks now as a unit. It's been quite an afternoon getting to the quarterback. 
And we're seeing it come from a variety of places as well. Sometimes just the guys up front getting to them. Other times you had extra guys rushing the quarterback, twists and stunts. It's been a variety, and they've had no way of blocking them. Here's Bradley Pinion now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. So a short drop, but he's able to get it out, and this is a good kick. It'll go as a 50-yard punt, six yards on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And he'll take it across the 50 and into Chief territory. Chris Jones on the stop. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. The 71 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. Fourth quarter down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's our home team here in possession of the football as we come back. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Back to throw. Huntley. He'll get this one to Ezekama. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. So they come up on second down and they can get another run like we just saw would likely put an end to this thing. There they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground and he will take this one in for a touchdown. A great effort there. Saving his best for the playoffs with his third touchdown of the game. And the Bulls are drawing closer to a date in the AFC title game as they extend this fourth quarter lead. Apparently the week off hasn't hurt him one bit. Thousand yard rush in the regular season. Got his first touchdown here in the playoffs. Perhaps the week off energized him. A great article in the paper this morning basically saying that they would not have won the division without him. And he's not their only piece, but I think that's a fair statement. It's easy to say it this way. He's their main cop. They're going to try and run. And he is into the end zone again as he scores both the touchdown and the two-point conversion to extend this lead. Only had a couple of yards to gain there on the two-point conversion, and they were able to do it. And how many teams shy away from running the football in the two-point conversion? They treat two yards as if it were 20. If you're a good team running the ball, go to your strength. Go ahead and push it into the end zone. Yeah, they did. It worked is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Patrick Mahomes in the offense. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 45 to play. It's certainly a tough situation on the road, needing two scores to stay alive in the playoffs as they come up first and ten. Here's Mahomes. He's got Smith-Schuster. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Mahomes. He's going to look deep down the field. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Kyle Hamilton picks it. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, this point on the clock, had to throw it. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now it looks like he'll throw here. 
Escaping the pressure right. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. On the give, this is their fullback. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. Came up about a yard short, but I can't help it, Brandon. I love it when the big guy gets the football and he tries to babble his way forward. There's something about those guys carrying the ball and watching people trying to stop them. That's just great theater. On fourth down, they'll try and run for it. They find some open field here. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It's a gain of 14 there, and that should be enough to get him home free. So they stay alive in the NFL playoffs, move on to the conference championship. And do you think that the printing press is starting to get those T-shirts and hats ready, my friend? They have to, Brandon. They have to be ready because if you win, you've got to hand those out on the field right away. And just think about the pressure for the players now. Families are going to be talking about tickets to the Super Bowl even before you play the conference championship game. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. So long, everybody.